Hi there, and welcome to another Crypto Prevent versus Ransomware. This time we're going to do the WannaCry, WannaCrypt, the major one that's making its way around the world right now. Um, so to start off, what we have here is Crypto Prevent is set up with just the Folder Watch honeypot detection that uh, we've been testing previously. And again, if it gets past the built-in Chrome defense, the built-in Windows Defender defense, all the other crypto prevent protections, any antivirus protection, and ends up relying on this protection to stop it, then this one is designed to pretty much place files on the uh, protected locations and then try to detect any encryption on those and then kill any ransomware that's trying to encrypt things. So as you saw, we only had the folder watch honeypot detection enabled, and now we're going to run the WannaCry uh, sample that we have here. And you can see it acts fairly quickly. Crypto Prevent uh, Honeypot Detection detected it and has uh, shown us our detection window here, given us the option to shut down, which is highly recommended and get your system clean. Or you can reboot, which in this testing I've already tested and found that this sample doesn't add any startup stuff, so we're okay rebooting here. And once we reboot, we'll check and see how many files got encrypted from this ransomware. Um, just point out while we're waiting on this to reboot, uh, when I tried to download the sample, Chrome blocked me, so I had to download it with uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, Internet Explorer smart screen blocked me, so I had to turn that off. Then Windows Defender was left on on the machine I was downloading it on, and it detected and deleted the sample as well already. Plus, another major way that this uh, sample is spreading so fast is because of the uh, CIA vulnerability that was released last month. They've integrated that in and have been taking advantage of it. Key thing to remember here, though, is that if you had updated your Windows with all the latest Windows updates, that hole would not be there. But we're back up on the system now, and you can actually see those two honeypot files did get encrypted there. But we're going to check through the rest of the system and see if anything else got encrypted. None of our pictures there got encrypted. Check our files. Looks like our documents and text documents are all fine there. And then we got a few more to check through in the downloads, documents, music, pictures, videos. All of those are monitored by default by Folder Watch Protection. And I can go ahead and tell you that none of this got encrypted. Everything looks fine. And after this short video here, uh, the end segment, we're going to show you what would happen if you didn't have any protections applied and ran this uh, sample here. So you'll see a major difference there. So looking through, don't see anything getting encrypted here. Everything is looking pretty good. So while we wait on that, I'll go ahead and reiterate that uh, Crypto Prevent is a uh, antivirus supplement, and it will add additional protection, another layer of security, basically. When you're fighting all of these ransomware and malicious attacks and things of that nature, you need to have layered security. So don't just rely on a single antivirus or single any malware product or just crypto prevent to protect your system. You actually want to have up-to-date antivirus, your OS completely patched with all the updates available for it. Then you want to also have uh, firewall protections, user permissions. Normally you should probably run as a regular user on Windows, not as an administrator. Um, here we're showing off all the various honeypot files that didn't get encrypted. You can see all those. And they were not shown on the desktop in other locations previously because I had hide system files so it doesn't clutter up the whole area. But now we're going to show you what happens when you run this without any protection on here. Uh, we actually have Windows Defender disabled on the system, turned off all the crypto prevent protections. We're going to run it again. You can see all those files that it ends up dropping there. And it actually made this 
folder that it ran from hidden as well, which was kind of interesting to me. But if we run it with no protections, we'll give it a minute here and I think we'll start up Task Manager to see what's going on in the background. Nope, we just go ahead and look at all the stuff and you can see all of the things here are encrypted. And if we check out one of these text documents just to see what it looks like, you can see that file is encrypted. And you can see a big difference between those document folders when we previously looked at it and when we weren't when we're protected versus when we weren't protected. You can see that all of them got renamed with a second file there, as well as the file itself getting encrypted. But so it looks pretty bad off. It looks like it got to all of the locations when nothing was protected. So it looks like Crypto Prevent is still doing its job against this one. Uh, you may have noticed that this one had Crypto Prevent 8.3, 8 8.0.3. Uh, that version is actually really, but nothing that it blocked and used to block this is in that latest version. Uh, everything from the current version 8034 and below will have all the same protections that FolderWatch had to catch these things. So you should be fine with even that version, but I will be releasing the 8035 version here, uh, probably beginning of next week. Um, and that'll have some additional protection, but you can see that honeypot detection stays up to date and catches things, even if they're not known because it attacks those honeypot files and then gets caught and process is shut down. So thanks everyone for watching and hope you stay protected out there.